Merry Christmas to those who celebrate, and happy holidays to the rest of you good folks. Uh, welcome to another edition of Mass Effect 2. My name is Elizabeth. Let's, uh, we're gonna do one of my favorite missions today. We are going to help Tali, because I love, I just love the Quarians so darn much. And this mission as a, uh, whatchamacallit, as, what, am, what the fuck am I, an engineer is gonna be, I'm gonna be ridiculously overpowered. Tali. And I like her classic appearance. Yes, I know, I can spend points. Who else would be good against? I mean, I'm basically just facing Keth, so probably Morden. Does he have another appearance? No. Right? Maybe? Nah. No! Shoot. Darn. Can't go back. Can never go back. Let that be a lesson to you folks. This is Talizora Vasnima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with the Raya. Our system has your ship flagged to Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. Captain Shepard, Tali Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. Tali helped the Normandy's crew out of many difficult situations. I'm here to return the favor. I understand. As the commander of the vessel she serves on, your voice carries weight. I wish I could do more to help Tali. The trial requires that I be officially neutral, but I'm here if you need to talk. They're charging you with bringing active get into the fleet as part of a secret project. Oh no. That's insane. I never brought active get aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. You sent Geth materials back to the migrant fleet? Yes, my father was working on a project. He needed the materials. If I sent back something that was only damaged, not permanently inactive, no. No, no, I checked everything. I was careful. Technically, I'm under orders to place Talizora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tally, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. I should have brought Garrus. I'm a fool. I'm a foolish, foolish fool. First, let's uh forget. Before I forget, I want to update our squad mates. Overload's going to be extremely helpful. For this mission, so we're gonna we're gonna take care of that. Um, let's improve her all of hers. I want that because I want her to have all the health in the world. Boop, boop. He's the very model of a scientist Solarian, you know, so. I want him to stay alive. Cool. I love the Quarians. Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Auntie Ron, Shepard Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaran Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me Vas Normandy. I am afraid I did, Tally. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. 
You're an admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. Okay. Game audio's on. I take it being associated with a human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zorava Sima. Whatever we must call you legally. I guess we should get started. Does Tali have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side. Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. Sweet. So, uh, you would actually speak for my defense? I'll do everything in my power to help you, Tally. Thank you, Shepard. I could not ask for a better counselor. Our legal rules are simple. There are no legal tricks or political loopholes for you to worry about. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. It's so cool. I love that I'm a lawyer now, in addition to being the most badass ship captain in the entire planet, in the entire universe. I'm just that good. See, Jake, if you would have played this game more on camera, you could, you too could have represented your lawyer skills. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us a lie. The accused Tali Zoravas Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Tali crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Tali's captain, Shepard must stay. Suck it, bitch. Objection withdrawn. Damn right. Shepard Vas Normandy, your crew member Tali Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? If it helps Tali, I will. But in her heart, she remains Tali Zora Vas Nima, a proud member of the Migrant Fleet. I regret that her captain is forbidden to stand at her side today. Nobody has been forbidden from anything. It is a simple... Lie to them if you must, Talcoris, but don't lie to me and expect me to stay silent. The human is right. Admirals, please. Shepard's willingness to represent Tali Zora in this hearing is appreciated. Tali, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? How could Tally have brought Geth to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, Tali isn't accused of bringing back entire units, only parts that could spontaneously reactivate. But I would never send active Geth to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. Oh no. The plot thickens. What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. What? Oh, Kila. I appreciate the need for this trial, Admirals. But right now, our first concern must be the safety of the migrant fleet. The Normandy stands ready to assist in whatever capacity necessary. Thank you. Quarian strike teams have attempted to retake the ship, so far without success. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you boshtet! You tell him. You intend to retake the Alarai from the Geth. 
This proposal is extremely dangerous. With your permission, Admirals, yes. The good of the fleet must come first. And Tally needs to find her father. Agreed. And if you die on this worthy mission, Tally, we will see that your name is cleared of these charges. We can discuss that later. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alorai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. The shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tally. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action. Make it comfortable. Also, you gotta love cliche dissenting Republican. Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alrai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I I don't know. He he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard, and I need to find out. Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? We can talk with the admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. But I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alrai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Understood. Naturally. Whatever Geth are on the Alrai have likely built more of themselves. Expect heavy resistance. Dang. Yes. Fourth bar of Paragon is almost filled up. You set me up, Shala. You told Captain Donna not to say anything? I don't hear that my father may be dead until I'm in the trial? Why? The admirals needed to hear the shock in your voice, Tali. Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake the Alloray. That is your best chance at recovering evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry. We cannot afford sensitivity, Tali. I know you're trying to help her, Admiral, but that was over the line. She has nobody else to speak for her, Shepard. I am doing everything in my power. That's what her father would have wanted. Don't say it like that. He could still be alive on that ship. You should get to the Alarai soon. Is there anything else I can tell you? What can you tell us about the Alarai? Not much, I'm afraid. Real Zoro only said that he was researching new defense technology. He told me only that he needed any Geth parts or pieces I found. I assumed he was testing weapons on Geth components. We knew nothing until the Alarai sent a distress signal, then went dead. We didn't even know about the Geth until a boarding team was attacked. You're saying there's no data about the inside of the ship? That's exactly what I am saying. The Marines who survived and escaped saw bodies in the halls. We must assume the worst. No, we don't. How long have you known Tally's family? Since before Riel was an admiral. 25 or 30 years, I'd guess. I was there when Tally was born. Her mother and I had synced up our suits so we could be in the same open air room. I was sick for a week, but it was worth it. I was the one who took Tally from her mother and put her in the bubble. She cried so hard. I don't understand. You put your children in bubbles? Environmental units. It's a step between relying on the mother's immune system through nursing and getting a suit of one's own. The bubbles let parents take their children out of the clean room safely. We don't wear suits until adolescence. There's a celebration when a child gets her first suit. It's a coming of age. I'm not hearing much about Rail's involvement in Tally's life. It's difficult to explain. I shouldn't. It's all right, Hanshala. No secrets between shipmates. I think I told Shepard about my father. If you say so, Rail was committed to the Quarian cause. That didn't leave him a lot of time for his family. He wanted to give Tally and her mother the home world, or a strong fleet at least. That was how he showed his love. Can't wait for Mass Effect 3. What kind of evidence will carry weight with the admirals? Tally, you admitted to sending Geth parts to your father for his project. Yes, 
But never anything that could have come back online on its own. I took every possible precaution. Then find records of your shipment and experiments. Something that proves you were careful. Something that proves that this is all just a terrible accident that nobody could have foreseen. There seem to be some other arguments going on among the admirals. You caught that. Yes, the guest's presence makes this a touchy issue. The Admiralty Board is trying to determine whether to focus on colonial development or attempt to retake the whole world. You're thinking of war with the Geth? I am not, Tali, but others are. I know the migrant fleet is formidable, but even you can't take on the Geth. We grow tired of wandering the stars, Shepard. We want our world back. We have paid enough for our mistake. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm telling you which way the wind is blowing. We should move on. Good luck on the Alarai. Nice. Yeah, the Admirals don't really have anything too interesting to say, so let's just get on to the, to the combat portion of our mission here today. Yeah, because I'm verbose, I think is the word I'm looking for. Oh, sorry. I mean, Vast Normandy. No offense taken. The change in name was not my choice. For Admiral Rand's orders, the shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard of Vast Normandy. Can you tell us anything about what we'll find on the Alarai? I'm afraid I don't know much. Not many Marines made it back from the initial assault. They talked about massive waves of death, though. More than there should have been. There shouldn't have been any at all. Uh, all right. I mean that they're afraid the Geth are building or repairing more of themselves from materials on the Alarai. Not great, Bob. Let's head to the Alarai. Of course. I'll unlock the shuttle now. Good luck with those Geth, <coughs> Talizora. Excuse me. Kila Salai. Kila Salai. Just get a tram stamp that says Kila Salai. Probably that and that. Target acquired. Ha! Thought I was harmless, did you? Stupid Geth. Should have. I really should have brought Garrus. He has an overload. What am I doing? Mowing down waves of Geth. That's what I'm doing. Punching them in the dick. That's what I'm doing. Oopsie. Is there another one? So there is. Not difficult. Credits. Oops. Credits. Uh-oh. Because everything always goes really well when you bypass safety protocols. This is one of the storage units I sent to Father. Looks like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Haystrom. What made a part worth sending back to your father? It had to be in working order. Something that could be analyzed and integrated into other technology. Anything new had priority. Technology the Geth had developed themselves. Signs of modification. Clues to their thinking. How did you get these things to your father? Sometimes I left packages at secure drops in civilized areas. Someone on pilgrimage would see that it was shipped home. For very valuable finds, I'd signal home, and Father would send a small ship. Haystrom was a war zone. How did you salvage gear in the middle of all that? 
These suits have more pockets than you'd think. <laughs> Quarians have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. Within reason. We're not Vorcha, but we repair what most people would throw away. Hundreds of the ships in our fleet were salvaged wrecks, either found dead in space or purchased for next to nothing. Does that salvaged gear give you a clue as to what happened here? No, I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that father actually did all this. Yes, I know how to do the hacking mini game. If only you made me do it a million times. Silly game. Oh no. Took way more concentration than I uh, should need to do. I like how it kind of spoils that we get a Geth team member later on. Remember, you're dealing with a god tier gamer like me. So many, many games. This is like the one. This, this, and the mining are the like the biggest reasons why I prefer three to two. Don't get me wrong; it's a great game, but when you've done the fucking mini games eight million times, it really gets boring. This console might have something. Most of the data is corrupted, but a few bits are left. They were performing experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogramming. Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoners, Shepard. I only sent Father parts. Even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. Do you know what kind of tests your father was running? No, Father just told me to send back any Geth technology I could find that wasn't a direct danger to the fleet. I suspected he might be testing weapons, but I thought he was just working on new ways to bypass shields or armor. Could any of that data clear your name? Doubtful. This is mostly results data, effects of different disruptive hacking techniques. I don't understand all of it. But they may have been activating the Geth deliberately. I don't know. Nothing here says specifically, but if they were, then Father was doing something terrible. 
What was all this, Father? You promised you'd build me a house on the home world. Was this going to bring us back home? Maybe it's time for your people to let go of reclaiming your world from the Geth. You have no idea what it's like. You have a planet to go back to. My home is one whole breach away from extinction. You've got a place here, Tally. Don't throw it away in a war you don't need. Don't need? Shepard, if I don't wear a helmet in my own home, I die. A single kiss could put me in the hospital. Every time you touch a flower with bare fingers, inhale its fragrance without air filters, you're doing something I can't. Damn the pilgrimage. Without it, I might never have known what I was missing, what we had lost when we lost our home world. Have the Quarians considered colonizing a new world? We'd have enough difficulty reacclimating to our own native environment. Adjusting for exposure to a foreign colony would be even harder. It's the difference between 60 years and 600. For anyone alive now to watch a sunset without a mask, we must take back our home. At the very least, we can take back one ship. <sighs> Come on. Love those missions. Quarians go about it in a very dumb way, but do love those missions. Oh no. Assault rifles. I love assault rifles. God damn. One down. Making contact. Eat it. Eat it. Eat my whole asshole. Eat it. Eat it. Actually, don't. I'm not really into that. done fucked up. Father! No! No, 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 no. You always had a plan. Masked life signs or, or an onboard medical stasis program, maybe. You, you wouldn't. They're wrong. You wouldn't just die like this. You wouldn't leave me hey, hey, hey. come here. Almost missed that one. Ah, Everyone just needs a hug Damn. every once in a while. Damn it. I'm sorry. You got nothing to be sorry about. Maybe he would have known I'd come. Maybe he left a message. really cared or thinking that he did and that this was the only way he could show it it doesn't matter one way or the other i cared and i'm here and we are ending this let's do it god more mini games and me now somebody kill me please 
Yep, yep, yep. What the hell? How many credits do I have? Resources, credits. Ooh, I have a lot. Heavy weapon simply for these bitches. Ah, <laughs> you're dead. Anything else I can poke around with? Nope. This console is linked to the main hub Father mentioned. Disabling it shut down any geth we missed. Looks like some of the recordings remained intact. They'll tell us how this happened, what Father did. You sound like you don't really want to hear it. No. We have to. I know. I just... This is terrible, Shepard. I don't want to know that he was part of this. Do we have enough parts to bring more online? Yes, the new shipment from your daughter will let us add two more geth to the network. We're nearing a breakthrough on systemic viral attacks. Perhaps we should inform the Admiralty Board, just to be safe. No. We're too close. I promised to build my daughter a house on the home world. I'm not going to sit and wait while the politicians argue. We'd have an easier time of it if Tally Zora could send back more working material. Absolutely not. I don't want Tally exposed to any political blowback. Leave Tally out of this. Assemble new guests with what we have. Bypass security protocols if need be. It sounds like he was doing this for you. I never wanted this, Shepard. Kila, I never wanted this. Everything here is his fault. I, I tried to pretend it didn't point to him, but this... When this comes up in the trial, they'll... We can't tell them. Not the admirals, not anyone. Tally, without this evidence, you're looking at exile. You think I don't know that? You think I want to live knowing that I can never see the fleet again? But I can't go back into that room and say that my father was the worst war criminal in our people's history. I cannot. We're not gonna decide anything here. Let's see what the Admirals say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. But please, don't destroy what my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead, and none of this will matter. But Adam Baldwin will Adam Baldwin will save us, right? Right? Oh wait, no, he be, I'm sure he believes in rugged individualism because he's a fucking Republican. There has been no word. There is no reason to think Tali Zora survived. It sounds like the hearing is already underway. Very well. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Sorry, we're late. Tali Zora Vas Normandy saved the Alarai. I hope this proves her loyalty to the Quarian people. Her loyalty was never in doubt, only her judgment. Perhaps Tali Zora can offer something to encourage more trust in her judgment. Did you find anything on the Alarai that could clarify what happened there? Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? Tally helped me defeat Saren and the Geth at the Citadel. That should be all the evidence you need. I fail to see what relevance. You're not really interested in Tally, are you? This trial isn't about her. It's about the Geth. This hearing has nothing to do with the Geth. You want people to sympathize with them. 
Hand Geralt wants to go to war. None of you care about Tally. She knows more about the Geth than any other Quarian alive. You should be listening to her, not putting her on trial. Tally Zora saved the Citadel. She saved the Alarai. She showed the galaxy the value of the Quarian people. I can't think of stronger evidence than that. Are the Admirals prepared to render the judgment? Tali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. Hell yeah. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. If you appreciate me, then listen. The Reapers are coming. I'm going to need your help to stop them. Please don't throw away your lives against the Geth. Thank you, Commander Shepard. I hope this board carefully considers your advice. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Tali Zora Vas Normandy. Kill us alive. Kill us alive. Peace be with you, and also with you. I can't believe you pulled that off. But what you said, I've never had anyone speak like that on my behalf. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. We can still go back in and get you exiled if you want. Thanks, but I'm fine with things like this. It's fun watching you shout. Tali, about what your father said, what he did, you deserved better. I got better, Shepard. I got you. Come on, Tali Zora, boss Normandy. Let's get back to our ship. Thank you, Captain. This might be useful. Nice, what did I get? Besides a lot of Paragon points. Nice. <laughs> and the fourth bar is full. Nice, 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 nice. She got a new outfit, she got a new power, we got a couple of upgrades. Also I looked up how received a new message at your private terminal. Also I looked up how to romance Garrus and I think we're we're on the right track. Cool, cool. So let's go do our upgrades quick. They were gonna go uh, before I started this thing, we were told that Thane uh, has Give me that tech power upgrades. Nice, nice. All right. Got a lot of great shit. Yeah, we were told that Thane wants to speak to us, so we're gonna go say hi. Well, they're all in the same we're all on the same deck, so let's go sweet talk Garrus. And then we will go see what Thane wants. Kind of love that mission. I the core I think I think one specific sorry, Liara is my favorite Asari, but I think as a race the Quarians are more interesting to me. Shepard. Need me for something. Have you got a minute? Yeah. I've been thinking about what we talked about. Blowing off steam, easing tension. I've never considered cross species. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, saying it that way doesn't help. Now I feel dirty and clinical. Uh, are we crazy to even be thinking about this? I'm not sure. Look, Shepard, I know you can find something a little closer to home. 
I want something closer to home. I want you. I want someone I can trust. I can do that. I'll find some music and do some research to figure out how this thing should work. It'll either be a night to treasure or a horrible interspecies awkwardness thing. In which case, fighting the collectors will be a welcome distraction, so, you know, a win either way. <laughs> you know, Garrus, if you're not comfortable with this, it's okay. I'm not trying to pressure you. Shepard, you're about the only friend I've got left in this screwed up galaxy. I'm not gonna pretend I've got a fetish for humans. But this isn't about that. This is about us. You don't ever have to worry about making me uncomfortable. Nervous, yes, but never uncomfortable. So when should I book the room? I'd wait if you're okay with it. Disrupt the crew as little as possible and take that last chance to find some calm just before the storm. You know me, I always like to savor the last shot before popping the heat sink. Jesus Christ. <laughs> wait. That metaphor just went somewhere <laughs> horrible. I'll let you get back to work. Right. Because I'm in a great place to optimize firing algorithms right now. <laughs> God damn it. Ah. Oh. I understand what Lauren what Lauren sees. I understand what Lauren sees in the whole Garrus romance angle. It is absolutely adorable. It's adorable in a whole different way than uh than Liara's is. Shepard. I heard you wanted to speak with me. Yes. Now that you are here though, it seems more difficult to talk about. Are you feeling sick? I could get the doctor. No, no. Though I suppose that is a part of it. My mortality has me dwelling on things. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyat jumps into the room. My father runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down. Click the message. Father, he pleads, tucks my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. No, not all at once. Nothing dramatic, no sneaking out in the middle of the night. No final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. That's not the choice I expected. Why didn't you raise him yourself? My body is blessed with the skills to take life. The Hanar honed them in me. I have few others. I didn't want that life for Kolyat. I hoped he would find his own way. If he hated me, so be it. He would not have shared the path of sin. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self, the soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected, no longer whole. What's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is. This is not a path he should walk. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name and assumed we share skills. 
I don't know why he would accept the task. To be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. Maybe he name dropped you to get hired. It's possible, but I don't think so. It doesn't seem right. My name. He should not respect it. Thane, I don't have your contacts, and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help. I want it. The last time I saw my son, they wrapped her body in sea lines. Weighted it with stones. He tries to pull from me. Calls for her. Like the hammer lift her off the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be kindled in me. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaje. Warm water. I didn't mean to make you relive that. Perfect memory. It is sometimes a burden. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus bankers store it and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. Okay. So I think... Do we have everyone's loyalty missions, I believe, at this point? That's the men's restroom. I meant, I meant to take the elevator. Alright. So I will say thank you all very much for watching. Greatly, 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 greatly appreciate it. Um, if you want to say nice things to me on Twitter, I'm at randomgamer, that's J-A-M-3-R, otherwise you can check me out on the Wednesday show. Jake and I are playing Gears of War probably 3 at this point, I don't know. It's Christmas time, it's still be Christmas time when this comes out, who the hell will know what I'll look like. Hopefully I'll have had my surge, hopefully I've had my gallbladder removed from me so I can be not in as much pain, but, you know, here we go. <laughs> Um, but Jake and I will be playing a video game. Um, otherwise, yeah, uh, please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and we will see you next Friday.